the blues, which is the beginning of jazz. We kind of touched on the pentatonic scale. So now if we're thinking about a B flat blues. Same scale works over all those changes. What I like to do is come up with little bluesy ideas and repeat them. Okay, we'll have Dennis play the rhythm to the blues in B flat, and then I will simply come up with a little riff and repeat the riff. It's a great technique to use for soloing. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So I used the riff as a motif, I repeated the riff, and then I would alter it a little bit. It's kind of the one, two, three of composition, which I've learned from Leonard Bernstein. A riff, repeat the riff, and then you're off kind of altering the riff. Then you get back to a motif, same motif, alter the motif again. So let me demonstrate that one more time. One, two, here's the riff. Right, so you have one, two, and then the third you take off. It's a compositional technique that you can bring to making an improvisation, especially on the blues. So now I'm going to demonstrate with the harmony, the rhythm guitar, this concept of one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Now, One, two, three. One, two, three. It's a very simple concept to creating melody, which is what we're doing with improvisation, creating our own melodies. So now you can create these motifs on any chord progressions, not just the blues, if we take rhythm changes. I mean, rhythm changes is a very complicated chord progression. If we think about each chord and each scale at the same time, we're going to get really confused. I get really confused anyway. So what I like to do is play the blues over rhythm changes. Keep it simple. Use this technique of the one, two, three and play little bluesy ideas, and I picked that up from playing along with Charlie Christian and Benny Goodman records, and Lester Young records. He would play rhythm changes, and he would just be playing little bluesy licks, and man, did it sound good. So let me demonstrate that. First, I'll demonstrate this at a little slower tempo, and then we'll demonstrate it at a little faster tempo. So here we go, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> ideas. I'm not thinking too much about every chord change changing every two beats because then I'll, I'll drive my brain crazy. I, my head would explode thinking about all that stuff, especially at a faster tempo. So now let me demonstrate at a faster tempo. And again, I'm trying to glide over the fast tempo. I'm not trying to play every note, every eighth note. I'm trying to glide over making little bluesy ideas. One, a two, a one, two, three. All blues, all basically pentatonic over rhythm changes. That's the way I like to approach rhythm changes. Of course, we can get extremely complicated 
and thinking about all the different ways to do it. And I do suggest you explore all of the different ways of playing through rhythm changes, which I have done. But when I'm going to play a solo on rhythm changes, I try to keep it simple and bluesy and melodic.